रेड एलियो फाउंडर ऑफ ब्रिज वाटर एसोसिएट्स इज एन एस इन्वेस्टर एंड अ सेल्फ मेड बिहेवियर ही स्टार्टेड इन्वेस्टिंग इन स्टॉक बिफोर हिज टीन एज ईयर्स बिफोर ही एंटर्ड हाई स्कूल ही हैड ऑलरेडी क्रिएटेड एन इन्वेस्टमेंट पोर्टफोलियो रनिंग इन टू सेवरल थाउजेंड डॉलर्स रेड एलियो क्रेडिट सीज इन्वेस्टिंग प्रिंसिपल्स एंड ट्रांसेंटेंटल मेडिटेशन टू सम एक्सटेंट फॉर द एक्स्ट्रा ऑर्डिनरी सक्सेस दैट ही अचीव्ड हेयर वी गिव अ लो डाउन ऑन सम ऑफ द ही इन्वेस्टिंग प्रिंसिपल्स बिल्ड यूअर ओन सक्सेस रेड एलियो वॉज नॉट अ बिग फैन ऑफ स्कूल एंड इन फैक्ट ही एटेड इट सो ही थॉट ऑफ कार्विंग आउट इज ओन सक्सेस ही डिड और जॉब्स सच एज मूविंग लोन्स शॉलिंग स्नो एंड डिलीवरिंग न्यूज पेपर्स एट द आउटसेट ऑफ हिज इन्वेस्टिंग करियर He bought the shares of Northwest Airlines for three hundred dollar at the age of twelve and tripled his investment after the company merged with another. This is how he realized that he could get anything that he wanted by working for it, building independent opinions. As a child, he used to cut out coupons and exchange them for annual reports of Fortune 500 companies. Once he collected them, he tried to make sense of the market on his own. From there on, he developed a unique management style which is independent and unique. Investing in sectors you know of. He believes that investing is risky regardless of which sectors you choose to invest in. One of the easiest way to make investing less risky is to opt for the sectors that you are well acquainted with. avoid being reactive a lot of investors make investment decisions based on the trajectory that the markets are taking usually investors invest in the rising stock and sell in the falling but it is obviously not healthy advice since a company whose stock is down may be trading at an attractive valuation and vice versa bringing risk lower red elio is known to be conscious of the inherent risk that investing carries it is believed that bridgewater associates become the largest fund house because of the unique way in which dalio ran it he made sure to minimize the risk by diversifying his investment so that it is not a complete loss regardless of which way the market moved thanks <laughs>